Oh, it's one possession at a time. And it's going to start on that defense end. You can't come back unless you start to stop the other team. Drive by Johnson lays it up and in. You're going to have to be on both ends of the floor. Coming out of that timeout pit, it's getting to the basket. That's what just did right there with Xavier Johnson. But defensively, they're allowing the team to penetrate. And finishes. Unanimous all Big 12 freshman team selection last year. And one. Xavier Johnson. That's what Xavier Johnson does. He's got an unbelievably quick first step. And that's close because he's there. I don't know if the official thought he was in the... Johnson has the mismatch. Nearly traveled. Champagny, three to shoot. Back to Johnson from the outside. Xavier Johnson might have found his mojo in the second half. This is the area of his game uh, that he worked so hard on during the offseason, being consistent. Earl Brown and Ryan Murphy, and I know there's a guy in that starting lineup in Justin Champagny that you like a lot, Julius. I love Champagny. He's a freshman. He's a guy who can shoot the ball, shoot the floor a lot more. If you get up and down. The miss by McNair, a good dish to Champagne. He goes underneath and makes it go down. It's 11 point, close. sorry Julius, it's 11 a point lead, but honestly they, they haven't gotten a ton of shots to fall from the perimeter. Three guys for Pine Bluff with a couple of fouls. Xavier Johnson with the steal, he's out in the break going up and slams it home. Look at the Johnson dunk again. I don't know if any of them can get up like that, though. What do you think? Do we have any point guards that can get up? I, I don't know, JP1, you. why don't you tell I me? I wasn't a point guard. So maybe when they're at full strength, those guys will have, you know, the confidence to contribute. Xavier Johnson with another flush. Here's the breakaway for you, Julius. Nice tip by Murphy. You looking back, nobody coming? <laughs> Toss it off the glass to yourself. But he got up there. <laughs> That's a little much, my friend. Rebound. That was Hamilton rather on the shot. Big scrum for it. Johnson will take it all the way and finishes. To continue that in this half. Murphy. Air ball. Hamilton is there to pick it up, though. Three to shoot for Johnson. He sees it. And he nails the shot. That was a foul. This is with the shot clock running down, and you see Mathis has to step back when Johnson... Two and a half gone by, and just a 2 nothing lead for the visitors here. They're looking to get on the board, on their home floor, off the basket and in. Their best, especially Xavier Johnson, really gets in the lane, gets to the free throw line, puts pressure on the defense, and in their last time out at Louisville, they only shot six free throws for the entire game. When they haven't gotten to the free throw line this year. It was interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I'd characterize it as a great pass, but it was interesting. Well, he, that's a great pass, and Tony inside has a chance for three. Well, it wasn't a great pass. Oh, okay. I will agree, because it did not go to the intended opponent. That was not a great pass. Maybe this gets Xavier Johnson going. A few notches defensive. What they have, and you've seen the number of plays where they've been able to get out of transition. Xavier Johnson this time. <laughs> in the second half, 67% is at his best. When Xavier Johnson is attacking, when Trey McGowan is attacking, not playing basketball, looking for three-point shots. But Shot clock's down to seven. Can Xavier Johnson create? Yes! That's one of those instances with good defense by Torrey Johnson. So Carolina, tough defense early. Francis just throws it away right to Johnson. 6-3 sophomore on the attack, and he'll lay it in. Johnson telling everybody to get out of the way. He wants to take Richmond. It'll stop and go, and he drops the teardrop, falling away from the basket. 9 for 18, shooting his last two, and a steal by Johnson. Nice pass to Champagny, and the freshman on the angle from the block. With 400 rebounds in his collegiate career, as the Irish give it away, and Xavier Johnson is going to take it in with the authoritative finish. We've seen Florida State struggle to handle the basketball early in this game with numerous turnovers. Yeah, three of them so far officially. Good hesitation and an easy basket for Tony. And getting the job done defensively is all these Tony. Oh, beautiful steal. Denied. Third effort. That's up and in and a foul on it as well. They are. Just
just look at the reaction by Trey McGowan's average is close to two steals a game, fifth in the ACC, and just the reaction time. But you see McGowan's, of course, who comes up with the basketball. Diakite, when it's all said and done, he is going to be a guy that plays for a paycheck at the next level. Strong finish on East Tony. Tony McGowan's, Johnson, Champagny, and Brown, the five on the floor for Pitt in their home white uniforms. Johnson splits the double team, hangs in the air, and lays it through. Clark, block. Here comes Audis Tony. And he'll have a chance for three. After sustaining a lower leg injury, and missing some time. Whoa! Xavier Johnson. Hey, X Man, I'm going to start calling him taking flight right here. Sports Center, and then he's flexing at the end right there, Wes. That is tough. Fresh off the press bracketology, NC State, the last team into the field. Turned over by the Wolfpack in the court, half court. Here's McGowan's pushing it up and in in transition. Johnson, side step three, good. Xavier Johnson's first three. That's four for Pitt. Still not good enough. So this team has to be very greedy here in Greensboro. Johnson turns it over. Picked off by Brown just into the contest. Long wing jumper and nothing but net by McGowan. Talking about with these Panthers. Funderburg missing on the front end of the one and one. 31-23 the Wolfpack. Slicing in Johnson has the bucket. Get thank you very much on the run out. Here comes Johnson on the attack and lays it up and in. In these last few sequences, playing through the traffic like all great finishers, those eyes undeterred remaining steadfastly on the goal.